<laughs> hey, Arthur. Oh, come on. Doesn't prove anything, does it? I mean, what flavour did you think you liked, Hedgehog? Oh, hi, love. Aren't you supposed to be at school? Uh, yeah, I dropped my dinner card here. I thought you'd done this before. Hope a fugitive survive. Yeah, well, a couple of fat jacks is the easy part. Have you done any more thinking? Yeah. Loads. But it's pointless. I, I can't go back to school. Can't go home. Can't stay living here forever. If you want me to leave... <laughs> no, no, I don't. I'm, I'm here for you as long as you need me. Arthur! What are you doing here? I... I mean, boys, I'm really disappointed. The duplicity, the lying. So your sudden enthusiasm for Scrabble was a pretense to stop me going home? I thought it was a ghost. I suppose I'd come at you with a baseball bat. Have you even got one? No. A ghost to have a body. It's not a joke. You seem to find this pretty hilarious. The crisp eating spirit of Donald D'Souza. I'm sorry. We will discuss this properly later, but there will be consequences. Once I work out what's suitable. But for now, you need to go to school. Jay's going to take you. No. I want to stay with Marshall. I don't see what that's going to achieve. Right. Come on. I've, I've been helping him. Right. I... Since he was supposed to go to boarding school. What? What do you mean supposed to? Arthur? We wrote them a letter. Saying my granny was sick and I had to go and visit her in Italy. Have you even got a granny in Italy? No. And they believed you? It was on my dad's added paper. Arthur, can you go, please? Oh, come on, Mum. Don't make this any more difficult than it is already. Right. I need your dad's number. Well, OK, I'll get it from uh, Nicola. You don't have to tell him. Mrs Thomas, please. Look, I know you don't have the easiest relationship with your dad, and I know that going to boarding school was very sudden, but... But he is your dad, and he does care about you. It's non-negotiable. I need to tell him where you are. 